Hi, I'm Chase Ledoux, and I'm a biologist and graduate student at George Mason University. I work on a project supported in part by the International Elephant Foundation, and together with a team of researchers including other biologists, conservationists, and field assistants, we study Asian elephants in Sri Lanka and other parts of the world. Sri Lanka is known as the Pearl of the Indian Ocean, and despite its small size, it hosts the largest concentration of elephants anywhere in Asia. The human population in Sri Lanka continues to grow, and with this growing human footprint, it is more common for humans and elephants to use the same resources and landscapes. This leads to frequent human-elephant conflict on the island, often in the form of elephants raiding nearby farms for crops. As large as they are, even a small group of elephants can wipe out a farmer's entire annual crop yield in a single night, threatening the livelihoods of many Sri Lankans. At the same time, this conflict can be dangerous for humans and elephants as farmers try to protect their land. We suspect that many of these conflict elephants are adult males that are motivated to feed on nutritious crops, especially during a period called must. Must is a period of heightened reproduction that is unique to male elephants. And during must, males send various signals to other elephants in the area that they are ready to mate. This phenomenon is triggered by a surge in testosterone, and so must males can be especially aggressive towards people, making the problem of human-elephant conflict even worse. Our project seeks to better understand the flexibility of must, including how male elephants interact with each other, other elephants, and the environment around them. If we can figure out how male elephants spend their time and change their behavior and physiology during moss across a range of different habitats, we can more effectively conserve Asian elephants by developing strategies that specifically target male elephants who are most commonly involved in human-elephant conflict. Our integrative research measures the behavioral, acoustic, and physiological components of MUS, both among wild elephants in Sri Lanka and in elephants housed in facilities across the U.S. In sampling both of these populations through a field defense approach, we hope to get a more all-encompassing idea of how flexible must is. As zoos achieve greater success in breeding elephants and creating their own self-sustaining populations, it will also be important to understand how best to care for male elephants, especially during the time of must. Conserving elephants is critical. Elephants are keystone species, helping foster other animals and plants that they share habitats with. If we save elephants, we are also helping countless other species. Even beyond that, tourists come from all over the world to see elephants in Sri Lanka, meaning that elephants are important for Sri Lanka's continued economic prosperity. However, people who actually live among elephants can have a very different perspective. Ultimately, it will be up to communities like these throughout Africa and Asia that determine the future of elephants. We sincerely appreciate the work of organizations like the International Elephant Foundation that promote positive, sustainable ways to connect people and elephants for the good of all of us and the planet we share. If you would like to support our project and many others, please visit elephantconservation.org. Thank you for caring and helping elephants everywhere.